Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, my new place is just crawling with jumping spiders. Now, I don't know if they were here first or if they somehow got into the boxes of stuff I had in storage before we moved into this place after we had the house fire last uh, December. But there are jumping spiders. And I've only moved, I don't know, four miles away, five miles away. I'm in the same town, just actually in town instead of at the outskirts of town, or, or outskirts, right outside the city limits, you know, where the farmland bordered with the wooded area, you'd expect more spiders there. And, and you know, we got our fair share of spiders there. Black widow spiders notwithstanding, you know, we used to have giant house spiders, and that would be common in that area, whether it was in the house, which, yeah, or out in the horse trailer. So we had that uh, big four horse trailer in the side yard. That thing, you'd open it, it'd be crawling with giants, but oh man, it'd be like that movie Arachnophobia. But since we've been in this place, I have found two giant house spiders, and uh, I guess they're just indigenous to my locale. But we have found a bunch of jumping spiders. Now, some have been teeny tiny ones, like we're looking at today, and there's been. I don't know, I want to say three or four that have been good sized. Now, not a single jumping spider was as big as that bold jumper I found outside my house a couple years back. Yeah, that thing was huge. But we're looking at this under the microscope, and there's an airplane flying by. I'm not too far from the airport where we live now. But uh, looking under the microscope, I don't want to admit and say it's a cute spider, but they have really big eyes, and uh, they almost look cartoony when you look at them in the face and you look in their eyes under magnification. That's why people think, oh, they're so cute. Yeah, until they're jumping. And why are they called jumping spiders? Well, at the beginning of this video, remember you saw it do a little jump, and we'll show that again here. So yeah, they're known for jumping. Oh, could he jump out of this cup I'm filming him in? Well, apparently not, but yeah, I, man, I hate spiders. You know how I feel about spiders. And they say jumping spiders are good and people keep them as pets because, you know, they're supposed to hunt down any other spiders. But then again, so are cellar spiders, a.k.a. daddy long legs, as well as giant house spiders. They say that too about them. You know, I think it's all a scam. These are just old wives' tales that mothers or old ladies or grandmas or whatever told the kids... Oh, oh my god, there's a spider! And then she'd say, don't worry about it, just go to bed. Doesn't matter if a spider in there, it's good, because that kind of spider will eat the bad spiders. Well, which probably didn't say it like that, she probably said it like this. <clears throat> well, just go to bed anyways, because that kind of spider's good. It'll it'll save, protect you, it'll save you from the harmful spiders, so just go to sleep. So, yeah, it probably sounded more like that than, than the first time, but I'm starting to believe it's just all a scam, because... Pretty much any kind of really common spider in an area, I'm hearing from people, oh no, they're supposed to get rid of the bad spiders. Well, if that's the case, well, first off, all spiders are bad, right? So if that's the case, how did we end up with a bunch of black widows and then a bunch of false widows? Actually, we had false widows and then we had a bunch of black widows and it's just, ugh. Have not found any false widows here, I don't think. Well, I think we did find a false widow, but it's the jumping spiders. And the giant house spider. Giant house spiders, you find them on the walls or a ceiling. I think we found two on the wall and one in the bathtub, the really big bathtub. Well, not just my bathtub, just bathtubs in general, that's where you catch them. And the jumping spiders are just really common to see crawling across the wall. This one was sawed up on the thing and then lowered down on the computer, and yeah. All right, so what do you guys know about jumping spiders? Have you ever seen one under magnification using a microscope? Well, it's not a real microscope. It's the KK Moon video microscope for looking at tiny things. Yeah, that's almost the definition of a microscope, just to be able to look at tiny things, right? All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.